you feel about them? finally playing someone, you know, someone different? It was going to be a great time. Um, we've been battling against each other in practice all, all year long, all summer, so it's just going to be good to be out there against somebody else and compete. What difference does that make to play against somebody that, you know, is not familiar with you and vice versa, you're not familiar with you? Um, it's always hard to play against your teammates because they know all your moves, you've been playing against them like the whole summer. So it's just going to be good to go out there play against the competition who doesn't really like know your mood and stuff like that. So the game should come much easier. What, uh, what personal goals do you have for, for the game, Frank? Um, just go out there, play, just do whatever the best um, to help our team get the victory, um, whatever that is, get a ring on those play defense, um, get other the players involved, scoring stuff, whatever it takes to get the win. You've been one of the guys that coaching staff has hyped up throughout the summer, kind of the whispers of summer standouts and workouts and preseason practices. You've been that guy. Uh, you know, have you used that as kind of a chip on your shoulder or as motivation? Uh, just kind of how have you handled that that spotlight a little bit? Um, I haven't really thought about it too much. I just go in every day, try to give my best, um, show what I can bring to the table. So when the season comes around, um, they'll know and expect know what to expect at the end of the game. So I just pretty much don't think about it too much. Just play my game. What do you think about it? I mean, you had the blue white game, the rough arena set. What, what is that? It was How does that play on your mind? It was crazy. I mean, we used to, I used to watch stuff like that on TV and now to actually experience it and um, just see the fans and stuff like that. How crazy they get when you score a bucket in there. It's just crazy. And I just can't wait to get up there for our first official game in front of them and just show what we can bring to the table. What can you guys bring to the table? Um, I would say our, our team has a lot of depth. Um, we have a lot of great pieces. So we have a lot of shooting. We have guys that are tough that can get rebounds. We have good defensive players. So I would just say we have a good mix of players um, that can get the job done on all levels. How have your expectations changed from the time you got on campus versus through workouts, preseason practices, and then up until now? So one thing, I, well, a couple of things I've been working on was just my defense and getting my shot more consistent. Um, so I've just been getting a lot of shots up and trying to stay low in defense and practice and stuff like that. But um, getting, in the morning, getting in the gym in the morning, I just get a lot of shots up and I can see improvements on my jump shot. Um, my jump shot becoming more consistent. So those are two things I want to just keep on building towards when the city comes around. When you say in the morning, can you give us like from such and such a time to such and such a time, it's usually, what the shooting routine is like? So I usually wake up at like me and Coach Chen and um, some other guys like Keon, Jacob, we're in the gym at like 8 o'clock in the morning, um, get a lot of shots up, that'll go for like an hour because we have some classes at like 8 to 9, so we'll go from 8 to 9 and then class will be at like 9.30, so that's pretty much our schedule in the morning. And then we have practice later on at like 2.30 and stuff like that. Who's there besides you and Keon? Me, Keon, Jacob, um, Davion, Juicy there, and um, I think that's it. Sometimes Dante will show up. Did you guys, uh, I know sometimes they, something like that's called a breakfast club. For sure. <laughs> I wonder if you guys have uh, any kind of name that you would adopt now. We don't really have a name. I mean, Coach Kyle said it used to be a breakfast club back in the um, day when I, get, I think Michael K. Gilchrist was here. So we just started getting the gym in the morning. We don't really have a name. We just get the work done. Okay. Talking to you, your senior year and then uh, like Iverson Classic, the spring, uh, body transformation was the one thing you kind of kept going back to. What do you think of, of your body transformation and, and just kind of the, the strength and conditioning program which, once you've gotten here? Yeah, but I definitely see improvements on my body. Um, I believe when we took our little break, um, leaving in the summer, um, when they let us go home, I believe I gained eight pounds of muscle and um, trimmed down my body fat. So that was um, good for me. So I just like to keep on doing that. It keeps um, trimming down my body and just making myself have a pro body. Do you have a like a starting point when you first arrive, what you weighed versus uh, you know cutting the fat and then adding the muscle? What, what did you kind of start with and where? What was your lowest point than where you at now? I was like 228, 229 coming in. I'm like 222 now. So I dropped like seven pounds um, and gained some muscle. So that's been good for me. I feel a lot lighter on the court. You just feel better. How do you yeah. think? Go for it, Jerry. How'd you do it? Um, I was in the gym with uh, Rob a lot. Um, Shutting conditioning in the summer. We got that all day, every day. Um, so that helped me out a lot. And then just getting in the weight room with each other. That's been good. Yeah.
Who do you think your role can be on the team? Um, I believe my role would be just like playing, giving my all, just effort. Um, my coach wants me to stay low on defense and get a lot of rebounds for us. So that's two biggest things I've been working on, just getting other, get, getting other guys' um, shots and um, stuff like that. Do you see things starting to ramp up a little bit as we get closer to a real game? Even though it's an exhibition, it's against somebody different. The intensity may be day by day or week by week picking up a little bit. For sure. Um, the intensity has been picking up in practice. Coach Kyle has been getting on us a lot um, in practice, just trying to make us stay focused. Um, so when the game comes around, we're going to know our spots and where to be on the court and stuff like that and what to expect. What do you guys want to I guess heading into an exhibition game, what are you guys looking to accomplish? I know you guys are deep, you have a lot of rotating parts that can happen. Is that more of what you're looking for, is you can gel with each other against another team? What's kind of the main goal you guys want to go into this? For sure, I would say chemistry is probably the biggest thing for us. We just want to see who gels with each other and um, how different groups play with each other and um, just basically figure out how each other, how we play with each other, stuff like that. So we tell. Okay, years ago, Cal had the platoon system. He'd bring in five and a new five. Has he tinkered with any kind of certain gimmicky things like that in practice? Because you guys have so many parts. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't really thought too much about the platoon, um, kind of like subbing system like that, but he kind of just switches some guys around, see how they fit in with the, um, other guys and stuff like that. Bryce as a recruit, shooting wasn't something people talked about in the line. Obviously, you made a bunch of threes in the scrimmage. How much of that is something you've been adding to yeah, So when I committed, Coach Kyle wanted me to just focus on making my jumps. I become more consistent in defense. So like I said earlier, um, I've just been getting the gym a lot in the mornings and just trying to get a lot of shots up to make my jumps out more consistent. And um, I've been seeing a lot of um, improvements in my jump shots. How do you handle all the people buzzing about the way you've been playing and talking about UFC and expectations, all the, the hype kind of thing, I guess, is the years I mean, I hear it all, but I just try to stay focused um, and just control what I can control because I know if I have a bad game, I mean, I just can't focus too much on all that. Um, I just got to stay focused on what I can control and just get in the gym, stay in the gym, and get more shots up and stuff like that. Are you a guy who had kind of a chip on his shoulder because you, you fell a little overlooked coming into all this? For sure. I always, I always had a chip on my shoulder. Um, like you said, I feel like I was under-recruited, um, well, under-ranked and stuff like that. But I'm in college now. I'm at one of the best colleges in the country, and um, I can't really focus on rankings anymore. But I'm just blessed to be in the position I am today. You know, Cal said the other day during the media day that he wanted some guys to do things in practice so he could say, okay, that's good. You don't need to be doing that. You need to shoot more. Certain people, what has he said about your game where he said, you don't need to do that. You need to focus on the following. What are some of those things? So he wants me, biggest thing for me is motor. He wants me to keep going um, all day. Um, he wants me to run fast and get a lot of rebounds. And he wants me to... Um, he likes my physicality, so he likes when I drop to the hole, and he feels like I can get other players involved when I drop to the hole. So just certain things like that. Cal has said many times that a lot of players will just shoot because that's the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. Does he get on a lot of players like yourself or others who say, look, it's easy to settle for the 20-footer, but you can take it in to slam it or get to the free throw line? For sure, he um, says that a lot. Um, that's why he says like when I drive, sometimes I like to go get the bucket and score, but um, the counter off of that is to get, when they collapse the defense on me, and um, when I finish it, I can get it out for the three or something like that. And at least other offense. What are you most excited about as the season starts? Um, just getting out there and playing in front of um, Big Blue uh, Nation. Um, coming in, I know that the crowds are going to be crazy and stuff like that. So experiencing it at um, Big Blue Madness, it was crazy. And I just can't wait to get out there for our official, first official game and play in front of them. What do you know of scouting report? Uh, because it's an exhibition, so I assume you don't know a lot about them. But Cal is going to treat certain things like it's Kansas, like it's Duke. Do you have to mentally prepare at a higher level for yourself, even though it's somebody you should have your way with? Um, coming in from high school, I know I'm going to have to prepare mentally um, um, greater. Um, I know it's going to be different from high school to college, so I just want to be as prepared as possible. Um, he hasn't went over too much about the scouting report, but he just wants us to play hard and sit to um, what we can control in um, our offense and stuff like that. Of course, a lot has been made about the adjustment Kellen faced in going from Davis in the year. How did you see him work through some of those early struggles maybe earlier in the summer to what he's done recently? Um, Kellen's adjustment to here has been great. Um, he's finding his shots. He knows his role, um, how to play. 
Um, so basically, a lot of what we do is come off like screens and stuff like that. So when Kelly comes off the screen, um, you have a shot usually, you have to flutter you can go to, and just stuff like that. So he's been fitting into the system as well. How valuable is it for you as a freshman to have a guy like that who's played so much on college? It's really valuable. I mean, he's uh, he's has a lot of experience, and that just helps me coming in as a freshman. Um, just uh, getting the knowledge from him because he's been there and done it before. So I um, thank him a lot for that. With so much talent, has there been one thing Cal has harped on over and over and over, such as you said, playing with a high motor, playing with more energy? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's easy with so much talent to be a little complacent at yeah. times. Has he harped on that for all of you guys? For sure. I mean, like you said, he wants me to play with motor, but he also wants everybody to just know their role. He doesn't want people doing too much because we have a lot of pieces that can um, create up with, um, each other. So I would say that's the biggest thing is he just doesn't want us to do too much and just play hard all the time. What's the biggest thing you've learned from some of the guys who have more experience on the team? I would say they've just been trying to help me, like prepare me for what to expect coming in um, like for our first game. So I would just say like taking it all in, just knowing that count <clears throat> that he's going to get on you at certain times, but you just got to stay focused and fight through it. Um, but it's really not too much, um, just stay focused. Cal has said that three of the starting positions are kind of penciled in right now with Xavier, Ty Ty, and Oscar. So the other two, the three and the four, are kind of up for the taking. Do you think that you are a, a potential piece for one of those two spots? I mean, I feel like I could, but I'm really not focused on it. Whatever, whatever Kyle has planned, I know that it's going to work, and um, I trust him with that. Um, but like you saw, like Devin Booker, didn't start one time here, and you look at him now. Um, it's just crazy to see, but I mean, I can't really focus on it. Fans haven't gotten to see anything out of CJ Frederick because of his injury. Uh, I know he's kind of ramping things up with, with full contact stuff. So what do you kind of make of his game and what do you think he brings to the table as, as a uh, player? Um, I love it. I mean, like, Kyle likes how I drive, so when I drive to the hole and they collapse on me, he's like CJ, I know the shooter over. And so when I kick it out there, I know. CJ, I believe he signed like 50 or 48 or something from the three last year, so something like that. When you kick it out to him, then you know it's like going to basically go in. It's just easier, easier for you to play. So I like that a lot about, about his game. The more you've had a chance to practice with everyone over the last few weeks, has there been anybody that's, I don't know, maybe surprised you or really jumped out with how they bring it every day? I would say probably Savir, um, Willer, or um, Ty Ty. I mean, Savir's speed and how he can get out and play as a ball is crazy. Um, just like when he gets a rebound, Savir can just push it up the court and beats everybody up the court by his speed, so it's just crazy. And then his IQ, um, he can come off a of pick and roll and just throw a lob, and I wouldn't even see it. But um, just how he reads the game is just crazy. And then Ty Ty, his shooting ability, the tough shots that he makes is crazy. Um, he's also another um, guy that plays at his own pace and doesn't let the game speed him up. So I believe mean, those two guys um, have stood out to me. Has Severe's defense yeah. been a problem for people? Um, yeah, he, um, Coach Kyle wants him to get up, like pick up 94 feet. So that's been a problem for some of the guys. But um, I know some of the guys that we face in the season are going to have a tough job to get around Severe because of um, the pressure that he puts on him.